Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the thestockswish.com, and welcome. I thought I would do an Apple update. I actually haven't looked at Apple for a while here, uh, at least not seriously. So let's take a look and do that right now since it's getting into the holiday season. Apple had earnings back here on the 29th, and it really didn't do much of anything. Uh, the earnings gapped up but it wasn't a bullish gap of any significance to play long. And of course you can't really short this here because you can't short gap ups. But the interesting thing is if you take a look at Apple that it is still holding the downtrend. And what is going on with the market? If you look at the market and many other market stocks, they are rallying, they're making new highs, they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing to continue in the bullish uptrend. And Apple is not doing anything but just sitting here completely flat, um, dead as a doornail. Apple should have recovered those earnings if it was going to. Or Apple could have done something to break again. It hasn't done either one. I think Apple is going to lay like this until the end of the year, until the next time that it has earnings out. It could break some more in here before the end of the year, but it's not going to get over uh, this high. I think this is actually going to be, let's just see, where was January here? Where is the first day of the year? Oh no, here, yeah. Oh, I'm just seeing this now. 538.62. Wow. Look at that. I didn't even see that till now. This is a bearish gap. It's a bearish gap that happened here on January 4th in Apple. And that gap is still intact. My, my outlook for Apple is continuation of fall through of the current trend, which is in the downtrend. Apple has not recovered. Apple is still in a downtrend. And, and I'm seeing this now here. This is not the first gap in this chart, but this one here back in January is actually holding. And this we ran up here and we tested. I mean, that's basically where it gapped. In fact, where did this open? Open to 536.27. Wow, look at that. So it'll be really interesting to see what Apple does in January with the next earnings. I think Apple doesn't get over this high where it gapped to on the 29th before the end of the calendar year. Apple can do one of two things in January in the next earnings. Fix itself, go back and do an uptrend or break lower again. And because Apple is in a downtrend, what, what do you usually do? You assume follow through and continuation until the chart corrects itself, which it, ha which it didn't do here. It didn't do here. It hasn't done yet. And looking at the way Apple's behaved with so many other market stocks and the market, is this just weak? It, it looks like it's, no one's even caring about this thing at all. Look, it's definitely not getting bought. And it isn't getting any more selling coming in here. But, you know, what happens is if something wants to get going in the direction even bigger, more selling will come in. More selling will come into this. Because if you look at the chart here, this chart is broken. It's been broken really since the gap back uh, from September a, a year ago, more than a year ago now in 2012. Uh, but there's a lot of people are still long Apple. A lot of people that are still long Apple. Even though Apple broke 450 and 425 and 400, it broke a lot of levels in here. But there are a lot of people that are still long Apple. Why? They've been in it for so, 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 so long. They're up so much money that they haven't taken it out. But the fact is that Apple is holding the downtrend. It actually looks really, really beautiful here now that I'm looking at this bigger picture. In fact, let me go back here. want to see back here from a little bit ago back in 2012 here and here's where the, here's the area here this is it so I don't think anything's gonna happen in Apple until the until next year I think Apple's going to slosh around here in this sideways range until next year. Apple could gap up and fix its chart immediately. It's not setting up to do that. It could. It doesn't have that far to go as far as a correction. 
It's not there yet, though. Apple's still in the downtrend. The trend of this chart is down, 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 down. So follow through is most likely, which means continuation of follow through in the current trend, which is to the downside. That would, in order to make that happen, more people would have to sell out of the long positions in this stock. And what is going to make that happen? Who knows? The next earnings report, if it decides that people want to get out of it, that's what they will do. This is not really looking uh, very well here, considering the market. It's just really absolutely flat. And that red bar there from the failed bullish gap up there on the earnings uh, really gives me conviction in the follow through for Apple. But if this chart wants to correct itself, it can do it lickety split. Like, boom, it could do it just like that. So we'll really have to see what, how this ends up transpiring in January. I don't think Apple goes anywhere this year. I don't think it goes over 540 before the end of the year, no matter what the market does. And it could break a little bit lower here again, but I don't think it falls off the planet before the end of the year either. So it could slosh around this area here in this range. It could even come all the way down into this range. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens with this Apple. But um, market call for Apple as of right now is still follow through continuation in the downtrend. The downtrend is holding. It is in a downtrend and for all intents and purposes it's going to stay in the downtrend unless it does a bullish gap up, which would have to be a good one and have to rate high enough to be able to play long, which the one that happened back in October was not. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you're interested in more information about how to trade gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone.